and we are live. So are you ready for what's to come for XRP? Is something going to happen before the end of the month? It looks like the price action is gearing up for a big move, but which way seems more likely? Is it going to break out, flip these resistance levels into support for the month and make a new high for July? Or is it going to break down, come test these lows for July and continue downtrending? If it continues to go up, we'll need to watch how the price reacts to these resistance levels. The first one here and the second one here. The first one, we are having a pullback currently right now, as expected. But if we do go down and continue going down, we will need this first level right here to hold. Otherwise, we could potentially continue down and free fall right down to this last level of support. And currently right now, is it possible that Ripple is holding back some news before the breakout happens to continue the uptrend? And then we'll come back and look at the chart. But first, right now, let's cover some of these important price levels. How's it going, guys? This is John here bringing you another video on XRP and Ripple. Quick July update. You guys have been liking these, so I figured I'd do another one before the end of the month. And as always, if you're enjoying the video, hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel to see more videos just like this. So in terms of support and resistance levels to look out for in the short term, uh, the first support level is in the high 19 cents, which is also the 50 EMA on the four hour chart. Uh, the next level of support after that is in the high 18 cents, which is right now right on that 200 moving average. And if we did get a close below that level, then that would invalidate the current trend in the short term. And if the trend continues booming up, uh, the first resistance level we're going to want to watch, maybe it will be broken by the time this video is posted, is the mid 20 cents range. Uh, this was the second high of the month so far. And then 21 cents would be the last resistance level and would probably give XRP a new high for July. So it does seem that crypto Twitter is pretty bullish right now on XRP. And some are even saying that announcement is coming pretty soon. It is one of the most talked about cryptocurrencies. But right now for top five, it has been one of the most silent in terms of moves in price action. But some good news did come out today here. Uh, U.S. banking regulators did give the green light for banks to hold cryptocurrencies as custody for their clients. Uh, this is pretty big news for XRP and other altcoins. And it is a step closer for adoption for cryptocurrencies. One thing that was a negative thing, but also brought awareness to cryptocurrencies is last week's Twitter hack. The hackers targeted high profile verified accounts and they asked for Bitcoin in exchange for sending back the double amount that you send them. Um, this shut down most of Twitter for a few hours. As we get more news on this, I will keep you guys updated in another video. And Ripple also seems to be still a top three favorite among institutional investors. Uh, one Hong Kong institutional broker said that Ripple does seem to be one of the most focused digital assets along with Bitcoin and Ethereum. And each year they are seeing growth, um, over $50 billion in volume in 2019. Also, is XRP going anonymous? Ripple says it is funding research through its blockchain research initiative uh, to find ways to make XRP anonymous. Uh, they said the blockchain technology uh, faces a number of privacy and security threats, despite its decentralized nature. Uh, they also noted that businesses that are settling invoices through public blockchains may unintentionally uh, reveal sensitive data about their products and services to their competitors. It does seem like a good idea having a private ledger on the XRP blockchain uh, since Ripple is targeting banks and the bigger players uh, and having that option to do anonymous transaction can be very beneficial. To go back to the chart and talk a little bit more about that. So it started off the month with the second low of the year and it made a crossover right here on the 50 day moving average. At the same time, it did break out of this downtrend channel and went up to test the 200 moving average. Uh, it rejected the first time here. I came back down to 50 and then went right up through the 200 straight through it. The price then closed above and brought the RSI right in that overbought area. We did make a high for the month of July, which is now a resistance zone. And then we retraced all the way back down to the 50 day moving average. The price bounced again from that 200 moving average. Uh, currently we have been trending upwards ever since, and it is normal 
uh, for the price to reject the resistance level the first time around, similar to what happened over here, and then continue its way up. And the RSI right now, it is bullish, making higher lows and higher highs. And looking at the price and where the RSI is right now, if we do go back in this overbought area, then we can potentially see the price right above this last resistance zone for the month. That would be a good range to close the month in. We would have this first level of support here to fall back on, and we probably would consolidate in this range, move sideways for a bit uh, before we have more fuel to go back and test these May highs that are around 22 cents. And with the way the price is moving right now, um, there is a possibility for a breakout to happen soon, possibly by the time the video is posted. XRP has been known to make big moves, so it could happen with a 10% candle. We haven't had a leg down also in a while, so there is a possibility for a wick below this 200 moving average, this last support here, followed by a recovery right above to bring us in newer highs. My bullish target for XRP for the end of the month is anywhere above this first resistance level here that we covered earlier. And it will be better to see us above the second resistance level because that would mean we are potentially going to see the May highs sometime in the beginning of August. But if things do go the opposite way, uh, the price that I will be targeting is right around this 200 moving average on the four hour chart. I would see that hold as the next support range on the downside and most likely where you would see a lot of shorts covering that opened up up here in this range. I hope you did find this video helpful and you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what your price target is for XRP for the end of July. And I'll see you next time. This is John with Currency.com. For more trading videos just like this, please subscribe to our channel.